I just released a song called Concrete Pillow and it's with a young rapper named D Minor and he used to be homeless and basically he raps about his homeless story and lots of screams um, and I sang on it and it's basically to share his story and shed light on homelessness and all the proceeds go to charity so I, I'm very proud of the single, yeah. So you chose a very solid foundation to start music on, you wanted to actually tell a message to people, was that your aim? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've done a couple of songs in the past, but it's always been for fun. And I think when it came, around, like this opportunity came around, like I'm a big, I, I give a lot. So if I can do that in any aspect of my career, I'm going to do it. So when it comes to music, I did it. Where do you spend most of your time, Sydney or LA? Oh, mostly LA. I've lived in LA for 10 years and I just moved to Sydney about two weeks ago. So I will be spending more time here. Does anyone mistake you for an Aussie or an American? I don't think so. I don't feel like I lost my accent. I mean, I had my family over there the whole time, so I guess I'm Aussie always. And what's your next challenge in music? My next challenge in music? Um, I just like writing with new people. Like, I want to get back into the studio and write songs with people that challenge me and, and stuff like that, so I guess that's to come. Where do you see yourself in five years? Happy. I don't, yeah, I, I don't see, I don't like making long-term goals. Like, I'm a very day-by-day -day person. Like, I don't even really know what I'm doing tomorrow or the next day. So I don't like putting goals or limits on yourself because you could have a goal five years from now, but that could be limit, like, limiting you for what you could actually reach. So for me, there's, there's no roof on, on my five-year limit. So.